Halo sobat milenial, gue Tino Satrio dan kali ini gue lagi special interview bersama salah satu legenda Liverpool, Michael Owen. Halo Michael. The first question is uh, winning the Ballon d'Or at such a young age, 21. How was that feeling? Did you know it will happen? Um, no, thank you. It's uh, it was it was a great experience, of course, winning the the Ballon d'Or. Uh, I think. I was the second youngest player ever to do it. I think uh, the Brazilian Ronaldo was the was the youngest. So to happen so soon in my career was was very exciting. Of course, at the time I was playing at the top of my game, and as soon as I heard that I won one, I wanted to win another one. <laughs> um, that was my attitude at the time. But and I th I also think that it's an award that the more time has gone on, the more I appreciate the award and and what it means. Um, As I say, during my career, I was so, so, you know, win, you win one thing, it's the next, it's the next, it's the next. It was almost like a wheel. And it's only when you retire, you sort of breathe and you think, right, what did I achieve? Because if, you, if, if you're playing football and you, you always think, ah, I won that, that's great, how nice is that? And, you know, how good am I? And but there's still another game to go the next week and the next week and the next. So you can never, you can never look at what you've done. You always have to keep looking forward. Um, but now I can look back and it feels uh, nice to have won that award. It's an amazing award and very proud to have, have won it. Um, the second is, uh, you were known as a really fast player, as in from your goal in World Cup 1998 against Argentina. How could you run so fast like that? What kind of training did you do or was it a gift? Yeah, I would like to give you some special information and, and tell you why but it was a it was a gift from my uh, from my parents it was the best gift they gave me um, the only problem with being able to run so fast is of course it it exposes you to more problems um, you know when you walk you don't get injured when you run you when you run fast fast you get you know you, you get injured so that's the only problem but it was my biggest asset my biggest weapon When I was uh, when I was younger, having speed is so important in football, especially trying to score goals like I like I was doing. So, yeah, it was uh, it was a gift from my from my parents, from the family, I think, because even now my I've passed on that gift. My children are are very very fast as well. So I think it's uh, it's just I've just been lucky to to be given it. Untuk Bu Monica, dari sekian banyak legend di Eropa sana, kenapa Michael Owen? Karena uh, kita melihat bahwa Michael Owen ini punya fans yang luar biasa sekali di, di Indonesia. Seperti kita tak ketahui kan, Liverpool dan juga uh, Manchester United itu full fansnya tuh luar biasa sekali ya di, di Indonesia. Dan uh, Michael Owen sudah pernah menjadi bagian dari kedua tim tersebut gitu. Dan uh, memang pengikutnya dan fansnya itu sangat luar biasa gitu itulah uh, alasan utamanya sebenarnya dan harapan apa yang mungkin Bu Monica ingin atau video ingin dengan datangnya Owen ke Indonesia terutama kan uh, sebagai OTT ya kita selain menghadirkan konten tapi kita juga mau membuat pengalaman bagi para penonton kita bagi para fans kita itu semakin bermakna gitu jadi yang udah pasti uh, dengan kehadiran Owen ini kita mau mendekatkan Uh, fans dan juga uh, penonton di video supaya lebih uh, mengapresiasi lagi uh, pertandingan EPL di uh, di uh, platform video tapi juga kita mau uh, apa ya me, uh, merayakan gitu euforia yang ada dari para penggemar ini terhadap uh, Premier League uh, selama ini kita baru masuk di minggu kedua ya tapi Uh, kita beruntung sekali sambutan dari para penonton uh, di video tuh luar biasa sekali gitu ya. Jadi uh, ini uh, menurut saya merupakan uh, sesuatu yang kita lakukan supaya fans makin dekat dengan kita, pelanggan makin dekat dengan kita, dan kita juga bisa melakukan sesuatu yang spesial buat mereka. Oke, okay, Michael, uh, many of your current teammates have a become a coaches. Even your junior, Steven Gerrard, will you follow in their footsteps in the future? No, I don't think so. I made a decision when I was um, around 35 to, to not go into coaching. Um, I did think all my career, I thought afterwards, I'm going to go into to, uh, 
to hopefully becoming a manager. But then I had the opportunity straight after football to go into the media, into the television, and I took that opportunity and I really enjoyed it. And um, what, nine years on? And, uh, and I'm really still enjoying doing the media work. So I've built a life that has, you know, media work, my family. I live in, in where I want to live, near, near my, my mum, my dad, and, and other extended family. So if you're a coach, it's, it's so much work. It's so much pressure. You don't really decide where you're going to live, where you're going to manage. You know, it might be an opportunity that comes around in a different country or a different place. So... Um, so I think that I've taken my life has taken a different path, and I really enjoy working on the television and, and trying to bring my uh, expertise and knowledge uh, to the to the viewers, uh, and hopefully, um, you guys see see some of that over here on on video. Uh, last question: uh, What moments can you forget as a football player? That I can't forget. That I really yeah, I enjoyed. Can, you can forget. Um, I had so many great moments. I in an England shirt. I had some great moments um, in the 1998 World Cup that you mentioned against Argentina. I was only 18 at that moment and, and coming into the England team and scoring a goal in the World Cup was uh, changed my life. Um, and then after that, um, I suppose winning two golden boots in the Premier League in the first two years. Um, other great moments for England, scoring a hat-trick in Germany. Scoring two goals in the FA Cup final was, was amazing and then I think uh, 150 goals in the Premier League was was uh, was what I ended up on as well. So just some amazing moments and uh, and winning virtually every trophy that you can win. The only one I've got a Champions League runner-up medal and not a Champions League winner. But I think everything else then uh, then I won. So it was. Um, I just wish I was younger so I could keep playing. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Michael. <laughs>